What's up guys, my name is Fran, and once again, welcome back. So first off, I just want to wish a happy holidays to everyone. Hopefully you guys are enjoying some much needed time off. I know I am. And on that same exact note, hopefully you got everything that you put on your holiday wish list. Now, as far as me, what I had on my wish list, I was fortunate enough to have my wonderful girlfriend pick up all of the items that I did request. Now on that particular list, I asked for the following. The all new Intel i7 8700K processor, the brand new Asus ROG Strix Z370 motherboard in the ITX form factor, and of course the actual star of this particular video because it's probably going to be in the title, the brand new Intel Optane 900P SSD. Now, ever since I actually did my video on Intel Optane explaining what it is, as well as doing a little benchmark and the testing of it, I was super excited to see what Intel would actually do when they came out with the full-fledged SSD that you could use as a storage device. The all-new Optane SSD is featuring 3D cross-point technology, which is supposed to be a lot faster than 3D NAND. So in this particular video, I decided that we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So for this particular benchmark, we're not gonna be testing on the Z370 motherboard or the 8700K processor, mainly because I'm gonna be saving that for a future video and also the Z370 motherboard does not actually feature a native U.2 port. But instead, we're gonna take it back a generation. I went out and picked up this MSI Z270 Gaming M5 motherboard, which is featuring a native U.2 port. Now this motherboard is gonna be equipped with an i7-7700K processor, as well as 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance memory. Now as far as the operating system this goes, we're just gonna be using a regular SATA based SSD. It's gonna be a 256 gigabyte Samsung 850 Pro SSD. Now as a side note for some of my testing, when I actually did open and unbox my Intel Optane SSD, I did expect it to come with a native U.2 cable, but instead it did come with a U.2 to M.2 conversion cable. Now I'm assuming that this isn't really gonna throw a wrench in any of my results, and we'll see in just a minute as we're gonna be doing live testing, so I don't exactly know what the results are gonna be like, but just know that I am gonna be connecting the uh, Intel SSD through the M.2 port. All right, so hopefully that covers all of my testing methodology, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over over to the test bench itself and actually start doing all of our benchmarks. Okay guys, so I'm at my desk right now and now we're gonna jump into the benchmarks. Just as a note, um, I am recording the output coming out of the uh, computer externally, so there isn't gonna be any read write to the actual disk, obviously, so we don't affect any of the performance, so just keep that in mind. Okay, great. So now that we are actually here inside of our operating system, as you can tell, uh, I have the task manager open here and the disk is totally idle. We're gonna be starting off with the Samsung SSD 950 Pro uh, and we're gonna just go into our, this PC. And as you can see, we have, it's a five total disk. So we've got our, um, our disk ready and it's completely blank. Now over here, I'm using this application here. This is a RAM disk application. Uh, there's a ton of uh, them out there. AMD makes one that's really good as well, but this one just happened to be, uh, unlimited capacity. So I made a eight, the, the system itself is equipped with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I made an eight gigabyte RAM disk. Um, I probably could make a little bit of a bigger one, but I think for the sake of having the equal amount of uh, RAM out there, just, it just makes sense for me. So what we're gonna be doing actually is we're gonna be starting off with uh, an actual uh, benchmark. So we're just gonna load up disk mark here. We're gonna make it a, for the sake of time, let's do an eight gigabyte and let's go ahead and start all of our testing. All right, so we are done with our synthetic benchmarks. And as you can see on the read portion of things we are, we did reach around that 2.5 gigabit per second um, advertised speeds and then far right, the 1.5. So everything seems to be on par when it comes to our synthetic benchmarks. So now what we're gonna actually do is we are going to uh, copy some of this data that we have locally. This is just some test data that we have here. Um, we're gonna copy this up to our RAM disk because now the reason why we're using our RAM disk, which is J here, and that, that is because um, obviously a RAM disk is a lot faster than any internal drive. So when copying, primarily copying data down and to and from between the two disks, we won't have any bottlenecks in the actual. Uh, All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually open up our Optane, uh, excuse me, our Samsung SSD, and we are gonna copy this data over to the Samsung SSD here. So yeah, that's just blazing fast there. We've got a write speed of 1.5 gigabits per second. Uh, and this data might be cached, so this probably isn't a really good experiment. I'm gonna try it anyway. We're gonna copy it back over just to see those read speeds. Yeah, and we're getting two gigabits, well, close to two gigabits on the read. So 
I think it's pretty much uh, good to go when it comes to some decent numbers that we have when it comes to uh, copying data. Now, there's also a difference between copying large data and a bunch of small files, but for the sake of argument, I think we have the speeds that we need for our testing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch over to the Intel Optane disk. I'm gonna shut down the machine, stop the recording, and come back as soon as I'm done with that. Okay, and we're back. Now we have the Intel Optane SSD set up, and we're gonna run through the exact same uh, process. We're gonna do a benchmark, then we're gonna copy data over, and then we're gonna um, copy it off. All right, so we've completed our synthetic benchmarks, and one thing you'll notice as far as these numbers go, uh, they are actually far superior in the write section rather than the read. The read, it's I would say it's definitely maybe within the margin of error to similar, maybe off by 100 megabytes. But uh, when it comes to the actual write speeds, that's where you're going to see a major benefit here when it comes to the uh, Intel Optane SSD. And that's pretty great because write speeds are actually a little bit more important than reads at certain times. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to once again just do our basic uh data copy. So now we have our data up at our RAM disk. We're going to once again copy over to our Intel Optane SSD. We're going to we're going to see how long that actually takes. All right guys, so it seems like uh my actual um, camera has run out of juice, but uh, the point I just want to make is that, as we can see, uh, once again, when it comes to write speeds, the 3D crosspoint drive or the Intel Optane drive actually is far superior to the uh, to the uh, S to the Samsung 950 SSD Pro. But to be honest with you, for the amount of uh, cost difference between the two, I'll probably throw that up on the screen. It probably isn't worth the extra money. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Did the results come out as you expected? Let me know in the comment section below. Also comment down there if you have any questions about my testing methodology or anything along those lines and I'll be sure to answer those as soon as possible. Once again guys, my name is Fran. Thanks so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.